Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the new concept in the Composition API that is Composables. So, what is this Composable? This Composables, nothing but what I can say is it is just like similar to the mixins in the Options API. So, how we will be using the mixin, the common logic whichever you want to write in the component that should be shared across all the components. The common logic means so we will be writing in the mixins. In the options API. In the same scenario, if you are having a common logic which should be reproduced or repeated in all the in some of the components means in multiple components means, then we will be using this composable. In the context of view applications, I can say that a composable is a function. It is a function that leverages the views composition API to encapsulate or and reuse the stateful logic. Here it's a stateful logic. So you, you may be having the stateless logic and also the stateful logic. Stateless logic means nothing but it takes some input and always, we, always we can expect the same output. So these are called as stateless uh, uh, logic, whatever may be the input. So always if you send the same input, you will be always get the same expected output. So there are many libraries like uh, Lodash, like data functions and all those things. So these are referred to as a stateless logic. In the other scenario, stateful logic means it involves the managing the state that changes over time. I will try to give you a simple example so that we can able to understand about the composable. So just similar like the mixins, how we will be using in the options API. In the same scenario, the reusable logic or the reusable code, if you want to use it in the multiple components, then we will be using this composables in the composition API. So let's try to it take a simple example so here i am creating a new component that is nothing but mouse tracker so i will create a new component mouse tracker dot js file and here this is the mouse tracker and i'll be having a template sorry this is the template right template this one is not coming template yeah here i can have do so here we can write something like Mouse position, the mouse position is at. We will be having two variables. That is, the first one is the x position, and we'll be having the y position. So this is the position I am trying to write it. And we can have a script without using the composable. How we can do it? Let's try to see. So I can have ref constant x is equal to ref script setup. Let's try to use it. Import, import from view. We'll be using import from view, and here I can. This one is coming like this. Template we have written. Oh, it should be not dot js. Sorry, we should rename it to dot view file. Right, view file. Now I have renamed it. Now this one ref. We need to include this ref ref of null and the second one is constant y is equal to ref of null. So we are having two refs. Now we have included this ref. The next one, what I will try to do is we will be having on mounted. We can import this on mounted. Here I can write window dot net window dot add event listener add event listener of mouse move when the mouse move is there so we can write a callback function update we'll write this one callback position update position callback function we'll write it and when it is unmounted we can write un or unmounted it should be imported from the view and we can write the same thing but we'll remove this add event listener that's it. Remove event listener. That's it. Now we need to have the function that is function update function. Sorry, update position. And this receives an event. And here this event we can write x dot value is equal to event dot where will be that event? Event dot page x. It will be in the page x and y dot value is equal to event dot page y okay that's it now we have the x and y let's see the output 
and if i try to refresh oh we are able to see the same thing let's go to the app dot view i will try to comment out this all code and here i can write import uh, mouse tracker mouse tracker and we can use this mouse tracker here mouse tracker that's it now if you see the output here if i refresh this page you'll be able to get so we are able to see the mouse position now this one is everything looks good fine this one everything looks good so we are able to get it now if you want to reuse the same logic so here if you want to move it into a reusable logic means so what can we can do it is so you can go wherever you want and i am creating a new file composable file that is mouse.js here this is the mouse.js and in this mouse.js so this is the composable file i am going to create it and here we need to do export function use mouse okay we will be using use mouse and in this one whatever the code you are having this is all the reusable code right you can take this all reusable code and you can paste it here and whatever the values you want to return it here you can return that x and y okay so this is the thing and we should import the same thing from the most tracker view and we can import this all the things you can copy here and you can import it you can also import it just i'm trying to show you so this is the function so what we have did it we have created a new function name use most whatever the thing you want you can use it but generally the notation is like this and we are creating the ref and all those things whatever the view logic and all those things is there so you can use these all the things without any problem now now here let's go to the most tracker how can i use this code so here i can call something like constant x comma y is equal to use most use most that's it we can call this one and here you can write import from from use most right so here you can use I can write mouse that's it so here i can i need to use use mouse that's it now if you see the output so this is coming something like another thing so leave it and if you see the same output we are able to get the same output fine so we are able to get the same output so now this is how we will be writing the composable function so if you try to you see here the code is similar the core logic and all those things remains identical but we have moved this all the code into an external function and we are returning the state that should be exposed so here the the state variables which should be exposed we are returning those values just like inside a component what we can see is we can also use the full range of these are the composable composable things so the same use most functionality can now be used in any component so this use most method can be used in any thing and also the coolest thing or anything with the another concept which i want to tell you is is so not only like this we can also use composable inside the composable like you can also use the nested composables so this enables us to uh, what i can say to make the complex logic use uh, dividing into a splitting into a small and isolated units so this is how we can do it and how can i divide it is for example let's say that this is the mouse.js right and here i can create a new one something like event.js event listener.js anything whichever thing you want so here i can write export function use event listener i will write use event listener and and i can copy this mouse.js so these all the on mounted and all those things and i can paste it here without any issue and now here what i can do i can use use event listener i can call this one so we can pass the functionalities like for example let's say that uh, this one you need you need to make it all these all the things uh, dynamic means so here i can write something like target and also that the event type okay event type and the last one is the callback you can use it like this and here the target is what i need to use so that is nothing but window and the event is mouse move event type is mouse move and the callback function is update position this is the thing you want there and using this use event listener in the event.js so target is nothing but here window so not on this one and the event type is here not the mouse move here the event type or event type 
and here the callback will be like this and here we can copy the entire thing and also here also we can do and now we need to import these all things unmounted unmounted go here import from view we should import it from view and this should be unmounted and also on unmounted that's it here if you go into the mouse.js now there is no need for us to use this on mounted and unmounted so you can remove this one without any problem that's it so now we have used this one here let's remove let's save it yeah i think that we have saved it everything and if you see the example here without any problem we should be able to see the pointer mouse tracking thing now what we have did we have used the more composable functionality and we have divided the code so where is this one mouse tracker and we are using the use mouse and in this use mouse so this one is a composable and here we are having the stateful logic and in return we are using a composable inside a composable where this use event listener is another composable where here we are having so like this we can divide this all the logic into a chunks of mini mini isolated units so this is all about the composable functionality and also i'll try to tell you some more uh, some with an, another example like async functionality so how we can do where it will be in the real time it is very useful i will try to tell you where uh, it will be useful in something like uh, making an axios calls like data fetching and all those things fetch api so there it will be, there these composables will be very useful so this is all about the basic introduction of the composable hope you understood about this composable concept in the vue.js composition api if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you